Hi, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about layout file in the Next.js. So we're gonna learn how you can change fonts to your application, how you can add meta description and meta tags. And at the end, we're gonna see how you can create components such as navigation and footer and share them between your routes. Go with Floba. Okay, so the layout file that we're gonna discuss in this tutorial is the one in the app folder. So let's open that one and let's see the layout.js. So this is the root layout. You can have nested layout files and share different components and pieces of your application, but in the root layout, you define the navigation, footer, all the things that are being presented in the root application. Uh, right off the bat, we can see that we have these fonts imported here. So let's change the fonts in our application. So let's say instead of inter, let's we import the Roboto, which is much more, uh, much more a known font and when you're using fonts like Roboto which is not variable font you need to provide weights when you're uh, defining them so let's update the constant here that we're using and let's call the font that we just imported so you import the font here this module and you just call it and here when it's not a variable font you need to provide uh, weights uh, weights for which are you gonna use in your application so let's say that you're gonna use 400 and you can provide an array, obviously, if you want to use multiple fonts. So if you want to use bold as well, let's add a 700, like so. And now we need to use how we inject this font in, inside of our application is we use this variable that we just created. And inside of our body class name, we just call roboto.className. And now let's open our application. And if you go and inspect home, here, font, and we go to the computer, Let's scroll a little bit down and let's find the font family here. And as you can see, we have the font family as Roboto here. Nice. So this is how you can change the fonts. The next thing which you can notice here is that we have this metadata. With metadata, you can change the title, description, and all other meta tags uh, available inside of your site. So for the title, let's say next.js course. And let's say for the description, say code with sloba next.js course and now if we open up our application we can see that the title of this application has changed and if we inspect the head we can see the description is updated as well but here you can also add og tags so open graph tags so let's say that you want to add open graph tags and these are the uh, information provided for social media for twitter facebook youtube you know whenever you're passing a link and you want that image and description and title to be you know previewed uh, this is where you uh, where you're passing all the information so let's say that you want to add uh, let's say site name and let's call it course just course or next just course we just course and if you save this and let's open up our application again so now you can see that in the head we have a new meta meta tag so we have og title og description og site name the one that we just added and you also have a specific for social media like twitter generated here twitter card twitter title and twitter description but if we go and remove this og let's remove it like so and if you go to the head now you can see that this og meta tags and twitter have been removed so this is how you add that. And another important thing to know is these are the meta tags that are added in the root. Uh, so which means that you can add these obviously meta tags on your page specifically for that page and they override this uh, root metadata. But this one gets inherited for every single metadata that you define inside of the separate pages. So that, that is important to know. And the last thing that we need to cover is this root layout uh, function. Uh, the important thing is that the naming is not, uh, you know, very important. You can name it however you want. The only important thing is that it needs to be exported as default. So this is why the name is not uh, relevant. And the other important thing is that you need to return children in the return statement. Otherwise, it's not going to render the components that you have, you know, added from the route. Now, let's say that we want to add navigation to our layout or to our application. In this one, we're just gonna create a dummy navigation. In later videos, we're gonna create a uh, real navigation. So inside of the body, let's add a nav tag and let's name it, this is a nav, like so. And now if we open our application, we can see that we have this new uh, component, which is nav. 
But now what, what, what is good about this is that if you go and open up the counter, you can see that once again, we have this navigation, which is, get, which is getting shared across the uh, different components. So this is how you share the share components across your application, or you set up your basic layout, like footer, navigation, sidebar. Once again, you can create nested, uh, nested layouts and they share uh, components inside of the pages itself. And once again, uh, layout component doesn't get re-rendered. So if you're fetching a data, uh, if you re-render some of the child components, it's not gonna get re-rendered. If you want to get re-rendering uh, a fact or a feature, you need to use a template instead of the layout. And this is basically all the things that I wanted to discuss about the layout file. See you in the next video. And if you wanna support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.